Apple down more than 4% on an uh, antitrust lawsuit filed by the Justice Department accusing the tech giant of maintaining an iPhone monopoly. My next guest says the government's regulatory crackdown could also be a risk factor for Alphabet, which currently has two key cases on the docket. Let's bring in Mark Mahaney of Evercore ISI. Mark, I uh, know you've just done a kind of a big deep dive in general on Alphabet and all aspects of the business. How does the antitrust piece fit in here? It seems like it's been an overhang for a while, but is it a little more here and now? Uh, I think it is, Mike. It's more real. So you're going to get, by the end of this year, a decision uh, by the judge on the DOJ search uh, antitrust case. And, um, you know, there's a, this isn't a novel, um, I'm no lawyer, but this is not a, a novel antitrust approach based on the experts we've talked with. And so there's a, it's very unclear uh, how this could come down. There's a very significant chance it could come down against Google, which would then lead to a series of uh, trials to determine remedies. This may last, this will well last for two or three more years. But, you know, this is all of the regulatory concerns that have been rising for Google are coming to fruit this year. And we're going to have a, your first decision. And you also have a case, this is going to be a jury case that starts in the fall in Virginia. And uh, you bring a jury case, an antitrust case and big tech, you know, that sounds like a lot of unknowns there. So, yeah, the risk is bigger and it's, uh, it's more real now than it's been in the past. Some unknowns about, you know, whatever potential awards or penalties or settlements or whatever. But also, I just wonder about what the risk might be to the actual business franchise and the way that Google does business. I know there's been attention on the advertising tech uh, that, that Google operates. Uh, but what does it mean, I suppose, for the search franchise at a time when people are kind of asking questions about how durable it is in general? Well, okay, so I, I do believe that the search business is highly durable. Now, let me just address that right away because there's this concern that Gen AI may upend this, this golden goose that's been uh, wonderful for Google for two decades. I don't think that's the case. I actually think that there's a real opportunity here for Gen AI, Gemini, uh, search generative experience, and all the different permutations we're going to see of Google over the next year or two. We think this could actually materially increase Google's search query volume. I mean, if, you, if Google is the one that's got a decent shot of being the AI assistant for consumers, there's gonna, you're going to use Google more than you did in the past. So I think some of the fears about Google being disintermediated by, by Gen AI, especially on the search side, I think are way overstated. But bringing it back to some of these um, law cases, especially the first one, which is could they actually stop Google and Apple from reaching a commercial agreement mm -hmm. on distribution? deals. I mean, it sounds like that's a plausible outcome. That could be great for Google's P&L immediately because that's $20 billion in cash they could save. The, the, I think the challenge in thinking about this company strategically is they, the advantage they've had as a search engine is they've got so many queries. They've got so much volume out there. So if you're going to crimp that volume by 10 percent, at some level, that is going to kind of kind of hurt the the, the efficacy, the, the the power of the Google search uh, model. So I actually view it as a strategic negative if they were to lose the Apple distribution deal, even though it would save them twenty billion a year.